All right, David Harry here. So today on YouTube, there is probably going to be a bazillion unboxings of the new PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, I'm going to get in on the act because I've obviously got one. And also, I just want to let people out there know about some of the videos that I will have coming up to do with the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, to be perfectly clear, there will not be any gameplay in this video. It's just going to be me struggling to open the box and try not to damage it, but also explaining a bunch of the things that I will be doing with this particular piece. S5 Pro. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to just kind of get the box in frame like this, just so that you can read what's on the box. So just pause the video and then continue at your own leisure after you've read any of the information that you may be interested in. Now, hopefully, I've got enough field of view within my frame here in order to get everything in on the box. Now, let me get around to this side here. Now, for anybody who is familiar with the original PS5 or the PS5 Slim, you're going to notice that there are some differences here within what's being said on the box. And there's obviously certain emissions as well that we originally had with the original PS5 and also the Slim. Now, one of those emissions is going to be 8K, which is something I will talk about shortly. But first of all, let me just make my first incisions here. Let me see if I can do this and get the outer box off without ripping it to bits. So give me a moment. Oh, this might get a bit tricky, hold on. Let me try it this way, if I hold it. Actually, there's one thing that actually that I've just noticed. This does feel lighter than my original PS5. I don't have a slim, I've got the original fat one, um, but it does feel lighter from what I can gather here. I think I might have been able, yes, looks like I've got the outer box off, safely without ripping it to bits so that's a plus point now how do i get this one open okay i think turn it around this way might be the way to go okay so i think to pull this out does that lift up no let me just open this out okay so the first thing that's popped out here are those little stands um i think that's for if you want to mount it sideways and stuff because of course the PS5 Pro does not come with any stand and there's going to be a video that I'll have to do just to address some of the things to do with, you know, what's missing, as it were, with the PS5 Pro. I'm not going to get into all that now, but obviously, you know, we've all got concerns that Sony have kind of like left stuff out on this and considering its price, should they really have done that? That's something that I will get into in another video. Okay, so we've got a C to C cable there. Let me get that out the way. I've got a three pin, uh, or sorry, that, that's our UK three pin power cable to a two pin to go into the PS5. So that's a UK one. Wherever you buy these around the world, your actual mains connection will be suitable for your area. So let me get that out the way. I've also got a UX, sorry, a HDMI to HDMI cable here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is 8K compatible because there is going to be some 8K stuff that I'm going to be testing. Again, let me just, I'll mention that in a second. I just want to get the bulk of this out the way with first. And here is the controller. So let's see, yeah, that's exactly the same as your standard PS5 controller. So let me just put that there. Now, how do I get out of this bit? Okay, right, there's a bunch of like paperwork and stuff. I think we can all get a, an idea of what that stuff is. There's no need to dwell on that. Now, okay, let me just slide this out. I'll just get this box on the floor. I'll get these side pieces off as well. Okay, yeah, I think it does feel a bit lighter actually. Actually, now that I've got the box out the way, let me get into the center of the frame. Okay, so this does feel a bit lighter, I think. Um, was that just like some kind of placebo effect because it's the new thing? I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, I think it is lighter, although I will confirm that shortly. Anyway, let me just get that packaging out the way there. Okay, so there is the PS5 there. In fact, give me one moment. Okay, so there's my PS5. And what I've just noticed while lifting it off my shelf to put on the table, it is definitely heavier. Now, just give me a moment. And I know this is not scientific, but let me just get a little feel for that one. And then 
get over here yeah definitely heavier now i've got to imagine that part of that weight difference might be or it definitely will be to do with the fact that there's actually an optical drive obviously with this ps5 and if we have a look here it is a little bit taller but it is also a little bit fatter as well so i think just in general the bulk of the original ps5 is a bit bigger than the new ps5 pro and of course the pro does not have the optical disc drive in it either okay so what i am going to do now is to go through some of the videos that will be coming up to do with the ps5 pro or more importantly some of the first videos that i will do so what i've got here are a bunch of components by sk hynix now these consist of two variations for heat sinks and also one of their gen 4 nvme ssds now i'm going to be finding out what is going to be the best solution for cooling on the ps5 pro because like i say there are two different versions of the coolers for the ps5s so i'll find out which one works with the pro and i will do a video about that also i will be testing the sk hynix ssd with the ps5 pro i think this is the platinum yes this is one of the platinum series by sk hynix also i've got a couple of other nvme gen 4 drives and i've got a four terabyte as well which i will be testing with the ps5 now one of the first other videos that i will be doing is to see just how easily it is to take an ssd out of a ps5 if you've already got one and move it over onto the pro i mean we are supposed to be able to immediately see our games that are already on an external or the extra add-on ssd by simply just moving it over to the pro so i will do a quick video to confirm that now there is something else that i'm really super keen to test and that is going to be the 8k capabilities of the ps5 pro because as we all know by now some of these new games that have been optimized for the pro they have also got 8k output options so i'm really keen to know if we're in 8k do we actually get like a full 60 frames per second or do we start dropping a lot of frame rates to hit 8k so that's definitely something that i'm going to be testing and along with that i want to know does the ui go to 8k within the ps5 as well or is it just the output of particular games anyways that will do it for my unboxing of the ps5 pro and hopefully some of the ideas for the videos that i've got coming up might be of interest to some people out there if so definitely keep an eye on my channel also you may want to consider subbing to the channel for that particular content and if anybody out there is interested in pure gameplay and maybe very specifically like picture quality tests and stuff like that i will definitely be doing some of that on my gaming channel and there will be a link to my gaming channel in the video description below anyways i need to get off now because i'm going to have to start transferring ssds and doing all kinds of wacky stuff just to do my initial testing with the ps5 pro i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now